Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over the project details settings in the add projects page. Um, that's these settings right here. Um, before we get started with that though, I just want to go over the submitted, um, the submitted and the number of articles. This number will be how many articles your monthly subscription is and this will be how many articles have been su successfully submitted for the month. Um, so if it failed submissions or account failures and stuff like that don't count against your submission total. So this number only represents successful submissions. Um, so let's get into the project details. Uh, project name is just the name that you you want for the project. So for this project, I'll name it test project. Now this is the part that people find most confusing is the submit type. You have two options, random and linear, linear being the default option. Well, basically submit type is how our algorithm deals with pairing accounts with articles. We offer two types to give you as much control as possible. At first they may seem complicated, but they're actually pretty straightforward. And once you learn how to work, um, with these, you'll see that it allows you to basically have all the submission possibilities imaginable. And that's why we set it up this way. Um, between these two submission types, you can pretty much submit in any way that you possibly want or could ever want. <laughs> um, so let's start with linear. Linear will run through all accounts in order. So if you choose linear with 10 articles and 10 accounts, it will post one article to each account. If you choose 20 articles and 10 accounts, it will post to the 10 accounts and then run through them again and post again. Linear is best when you want to strictly control the amount that gets posted to each blog. So let's say you took 1,000 articles and 100 accounts with linear selected. Each account will get 10 articles posted to it because it will run through those 100 accounts in order, then run through them again, then again, and so on until it's posted all 1,000 articles. So that will leave each account with 10 posts. So let's take one more example. If you choose 100 accounts to post to and you want each account to post the same two articles, you'd go in and choose those two articles, set each of those articles to post 100 times. Now with linear selected, this will take the first article and run through the 100 accounts in order, posting that article to them, and then take the second article and run through the same 100 accounts again in order and post to them. So each account will get the same two articles posted to it. Now with random, account selection is completely random. It just randomly selects accounts to post to. So if you choose 10 accounts and 10 submissions, it's possible that the same account will get multiple submissions and some accounts will get none. Random just randomly matches an account with an article. So if, for example, random would be useful if you wanted to post 1,000 articles to 100 accounts and have your blogs be different. Some blogs will get 15 posts, some will get five, etc. It gives the user a way to just have a random submission that diversifies the blog. So basically it's just completely random. It's possible that uh, it could keep choosing the same blog to post to. It's highly unlikely, but it's possible because the algorithm is just completely random. Random is also a great option when using big networks. Just choose the articles and amounts you want to submit, select all of your accounts in your network, and let random just pair everything up for you. You don't have to think about anything. Um, and that's usually what I do uh, when tiering, um, like using my network for uh, big submission projects that are, are dealing with tiering. I just usually just let them randomly select. Some of my blogs will get a couple of posts, some will get none, but it just randomly selects it and really diversifies my blogs. And the more you do that with the same accounts, the more you'll notice that your uh, each one of your Web 2.0 properties is um, has its own identity. It's you know some will have lots of articles posted, some not so much. Um, you know it's just a great way when dealing with bigger networks and whatnot. So that's submit type. Um, I know it's pretty complicated, but if you if you uh, just try to let that all sink in, and um, you'll see what the difference is and and how they work. Um, 
so it's not too complicated. Once you get the hang of it, it's uh, pretty simple. Now, add articles will open a pop-up box, and this is where you can uh, just add the articles that you want to submit to. So you can select whichever articles you want to submit. Uh, you could choose. Uh, you can create sets of articles and uh, load up the set. Uh, right now, I don't know if I have any articles in these sets. Those are just demonstration sets. But if you did, those articles would load up in this table right here. You could search for your articles. Now, if you'd like to submit article to multiple accounts, be sure to change article amount number. This is something most a lot of people forget. They'll uh, they'll choose these two articles. They'll choose a hundred accounts and expect that these articles are gonna submit to all those accounts. What you need to do is change the amount you want them to submit. So you choose that article wants to be submitted 50 times and that article sum submitted 50 times. Now let's say you wanted all of these articles to just submit 100 times. You can just change the default value. It will change all of those for you. So you can just choose that. You'll see it says 400 articles are selected. Now this number is how many submissions you're going to have. So if you notice, let's uncheck these. If I uh, change that to one, so if I chose this, just one, you'll see one article is selected. That means you're going to have one submission. Just because you choose 100 accounts from here doesn't mean this article is going to be submitted to all those accounts. Um, if you want to submit it to all 100 accounts, you would choose 100. The, ooh, sorry. Do 99 for now. We got to fix that so uh, you could submit more. This was still in beta. We had a cap at 99. Well, I'd say 99 right there. So you choose that, and that's 99. Now, the reason why we did this is if you wanted to choose one article, or let's say you choose, uh, you want to submit this 50 times, but you wanted to just submit this article 50 times to random websites in your entire network. You could just add accounts. You could select all your accounts right there, and you could choose your accounts. And then basically, you have 50 articles and 323 accounts with random selected. This will just randomly grab some accounts and uh, submit to them. So it makes it give you every possibility under the sun. If you wanted to submit this to all the accounts, just change that number to 323, which right now, since we're in beta, we kept that at 99, but we'll change that. So uh, let's get rid of that right there. So we have an article. We got 50 articles that are going to be submitted. Then you could just go in and add your accounts. You could choose by the niche that you want. Just select all of these in this niche right there. Um, we could add. Uh, these as well, a couple here, and then just choose. And we have 13 accounts selected. So this is going to give us 50 submissions, and it's just going to randomly select between these 13 accounts. Um, so just remember this is your submission number, the amount of submissions you're going to have in this project. And then the number of days is self-explanatory. It's how many days your project is going to run. So you could just put 25, you could put 1. Uh, if you put 1, it'll your project will be done within 24 hours. Uh, anything else, it'll do the math and evenly split it out, uh, split it up between that time frame. So the two things I want to stretch, stress about these settings is make sure you get an understanding of the difference between random and linear, and make sure you understand that this, this is your submission number. This is the amount of submissions you're going to have. Um, we get a lot of questions as to why people have chosen one article on 100 accounts and they only saw one submission. It's because they left this number at 1, which means this article will be submitted once and it will choose one of these 13 accounts to submit to. Um, and that's basically it for the project details. It's not too complicated. I just wanted to make sure you guys uh, had a good understanding of some of the uh, more confusing parts of this uh, these settings.